Yo everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing amazing. Right now, we actually have a very exciting video. The brand new game mode coming to COD Mobile in season six, Undead Siege. Zombies in Battle Royale, but also a new zombies type of storyline and more. And actually some stuff happening in the game right now. So make sure to watch the full video. But anyways, on the screen now is going to be a new teaser which just dropped. Soldier, meet us at the new location. This is our last chance. Your memories of other fragments and universes seem to be overlapping. Damn, the continuity of time and space has been irrevocably disturbed. Someone must be here. Okay, so this is super exciting. Like, I'm super hyped. This sounds like COD Mobile is doing a brand new, like, spin-off or, like, a new story to the entire zombie storyline. So we can hear Dempsey in here. We can hear Nikolai in here. We can also actually hear Ritofen in here. So Dempsey says something along sides of Soldier meets us at the new location. He also says this might be our final chance. Then Nikolai says, your memory of other fragmented universes seems to be overlapping. Richtofen says something about the continuity of time and space has been disrupted. Also, he says, someone must be here. So, wow, I'm so confused. This sounds like a whole new storyline to the Zombies universe. Something that I had never heard about. Now, obviously, this is pointing towards our new game mode, Undead Siege, but it's pretty cool to see them making like a new story or like a spin-off in a new dimension. I don't know, it just sounds awesome. And also in the game files, two skins were found. One was for Tank Dempsey and the other one was for Rick Toffin. Nothing for Takio as well as for Nikolai, but we do have two new skins coming in the game. Both are known as Turned. They might end up being free grindable skins. We don't know right now. We are gonna have to wait and see. No news on that. Now, that out the way, if you actually hop on to Battle Royale right now on the global version, I think Garena as well, in BR, you can actually find Dark Aether Crystals on the ground in Battle Royale. Now, you can shoot them and you can break them, but nothing actually happens right now. I believe, I think in Season 6, something's obviously going to happen when you shoot them, but for now, nothing actually does happen, but they're obviously teasing this whole new game mode coming to the game. Now, let's actually talk about this new game mode coming to the game, which is known as Undead Siege. So in the game files, a new calling card was found, and this calling card actually reveals a lot of what we can expect for the new game mode. So in this calling card, we can see zombies far in the background coming to attack you. We can also see those Ethereum crystals or those dark ether crystals here to the left. And then on the right, we can actually see a machine known as the Pandora. And that machine over there reveals a lot of what we are getting in season six for this Undead Crusade game mode. So in the background, you guys can see a game mode known as Seven Days and Seven Nights in Call of Duty Online. Thank you to JC Rosethorn for this gameplay. Now we spoke about this game mode a few days ago, but this is what we are getting in season six. It's obviously not going to be the exact same as what you guys can see on the screen, but we are getting a similar game mode in our game, Card Mobile. So how this all works is you are on the BR map. Obviously, we'll be on our BR map and not the map you guys can see right now. And there is going to be daytime and nighttime. Now, during the daytime, what you want to do is go out and loot, get medic vests or get armor, you know, get guns, ammo and all of that stuff. And then eventually, it is going to turn night. Now in the nighttime, the entire map does fill up with poisonous gas, for example, the ring that closes. Now what you wanna do is get back to a designated location. At this location, there won't be any poisonous gas on you, and that machine you guys saw in the calling card, known as the Pandora, is going to be at this location. Now what you wanna do is protect this machine, known as the Pandora, against zombies, 
they're all gonna be attacking you in the night time. They'll be attacking you in like streams and you have to shoot them down and prevent them from killing you as well as destroying the Pandora. Now you're also able to build and craft turrets or sentry guns with different unique perks to help you kill the actual zombies that are attacking you. Now what you wanna do is do this for seven days and for seven nights. So your goal is to survive for seven days and seven nights to win the overall game and that sounds freaking awesome. So during the day, you go out and loot essentially, and nighttime you go back to protect the Pandora and yourself against the zombies, and that is awesome. Like I said guys, that calling card revealed a lot of what is gonna be happening in season six with this whole new Undead Crusade game mode. Now obviously we can assume that some stuff will be different compared to the gameplay you guys can see on the screen now when it does come to card mobile. For starters, it will be on a smaller version of the isolated map. Obviously the map will look quite different and by that I just mean it'll be designed and decorated in a way to show off a zombie's atmosphere. For example, the crystals and that whole purple nighttime vibe going on, which you guys can see in the calling card and all the other teasers found in the in-game files. But yeah, this is looking exciting, it's looking good, I'm hyped. And also we are gonna have our very own unique camo, a new completionist camo to grind in this game mode known as Ether Crystal. We're not sure how to unlock it just yet, but this camo will only be able to be unlocked and grinded in this specific game mode coming to the game in season six. And the camo looks really nice. It is not animated, but by the way it's been designed with the crystals in the gun, when you move it around in certain angles, the light that shines through it basically makes it look like it is animated even though it is not. So yeah, looks beautiful, cannot wait to unlock that. It's hands down my favorite completionist camo so far. Now over here guys, we can also see the lobby background view. Thank you to Cardem Intel for this. And yeah, looks cool. This is gonna be the lobby background for when you are waiting to load into a game for Undead Siege. Looks really cool. I'm liking it, it's getting me pumped up. Now over here we have a bunch of different perks. Now obviously we don't actually have the description of what these are going to be doing in the Undead Siege game mode, but just by looking at the actual icon, we have a lot of different ones for turrets and different types of turrets. We have some which look like they're indicating at repairing your Pandora quicker. We also have one or two which is showing like a quicker reload for your actual ammo. We have some to do with more health it looks like, one for upgrading your gun or something along the lines of that. A lot of different perks over here. And yeah, I'm excited to see what they all do in the game. But otherwise guys, that is going to be all for this video. This looks awesome. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, when this does come out, I am gonna be spending most of my time in this game mode, grinding out those new skins and just having an awesome time. I really cannot wait. So what do you guys think? Please let me know down below. I'm gonna end the video off now. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. If you are new around here, please do consider smacking that sub button and join the family. But anyways, have a great day and squally out. Cheers.